two got it right, John and Doreen were fastest in 7.96 seconds. Come on, John, it's you. <laughs> Well, oh, she's all right. Thank you. OK, let's play. You want to play for a million pounds? Yes, please. Come on, yes, please. Let's do it. Right, this is John and Doreen Lawrence from Staines in Middlesex. Doreen works as a special needs teacher and John is an ex-policeman who now works as a toastmaster. Uh, he's been to all kinds of official functions. He's introduced fine people such as Princess Margaret and the Duke and Duchess of York. He's the guy who stands at the door of your wedding reception and deafens you with your own name when you go in. <laughs> now, with a big win, Doreen would like to travel to New York, uh, take in a few shows and shop till she dropped. John's dream, though, is rather different. He wants to go to New Orleans. He wants to buy a trumpet and play jazz in every bar until his money or his breath runs out. Now, how's it going to work, you two? Well, I'll do all the thinking. And Doreen will probably come out with the answer. <laughs> <laughs> How many years? How many years together? Oh, comes April the 3rd, we'll have been married for 36 years. So, you met him at a police dance? Yes. And you said you were going home early because there was no talent? That's right. <laughs> and then Dream Boy came in? No, well, no. no. <laughs> well, there was still no talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. has he, I mean, has he changed much? Just a bit of hair. He's um, never got any better looking, but... <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the worst thing he does? Come on, Dorian. I know you're spoiled for choice. What's the Careful, worst thing he does? Uh, yeah. Uh... New York, New York. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's very obsessive about tidiness. Well, the, the best way of describing Doreen's idea of tidiness is if you can envisage an exocet missile hit. <laughs> That's our bathroom after she's had her shower in the morning. <laughs> OK, well, fingers crossed. Um, as always, John and Dorian have those three lifelines. They have 50-50. They have phone a friend. And, of course, tonight they have a brand-new audience. And don't forget, as always on Couples Nights, I can't accept a final answer unless they both agree on it, which may be a problem. Let's see. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> OK, lots of luck. Question number one of a possible 15. This is for £100. Here it comes. Resolutions are traditionally made on the first day of which month? January, April, November, December. January. Are you agreed? <laughs> yes, we both agreed, first of January. It's the right answer. You've got £100. New Year's resolution. <laughs> You've got £100. New Year resolutions. Now, question number two uh, for £200. Here it is. What name is given to a small compartment for papers and letters? Wood pigeon, pigeon hole. Stop the pigeon. Walter pigeon. Pigeon hole. Pigeon hole. That's the right answer. You got two hundred pounds. <laughs> okay. Question number three for three hundred. Here it comes. Which of these is a pedal found in cars? Snatch. Clutch. Grasp. Clasp. The way you drive, it could be any of them. <laughs> <laughs> would we agree the correct answer is clutch? I think we would agree. At the moment. Clutch. <laughs> the final answer. Just the right answer, you got 300 pounds. <laughs> Take your time, this is for 500 pounds. Question number four. Which piece of plastic with a built-in microprocessor is used for storing and processing computer data? Neat key, cool disk, smart card, virtual ticket. You've got £300, pounds, it's worth £500. Pounds. So I'm going to agree the answer is smart card. Job? Sure. Yes, final answer. It's good, you've got £500. Pounds. <laughs> Look, question number five, we guarantee you're going back to Staines with at least £1,000. Question number five. Peter Talk, Davy Jones and Mickey Dolenz were members of which pop group? You're grinning, John. Is this your, um, your era? Well, it dates me considerably. I remember them the first time around, Chris. Mm. <laughs> what would you like to see coming up on the screen? 
monkeys. Okay, if they don't, panic. <laughs> the cause, the monkeys, the Rolling Stones, the who? The monkeys. The monkeys. It's the right answer, you got £1,000. We'll play. <laughs> Got a thousand pounds guaranteed. Don't you worry, Dory. So how are you feeling, John? You're looking terribly calm. Uh, looks uh, are deceptive. I'm not as calm as I may perhaps look. Are you inwardly quaking? Not quite quaking, but uh, a little bit tentative. Yeah. Have a look at question number six. It's for two thousand pounds. Here it comes. In grammar, what kind of words are hear, write, and begin? Adjectives, adverbs, nouns, verbs. Now, they, they are verbs. Chris. Verbs. 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 Happy? Yes. Final answer? Final Great. Answer. Yes. It's the right answer. You got two thousand pounds. Okay, you got 2000. Um, New York, New York, and New Orleans, New Orleans. Question number seven is for £4,000. Here it is. Which official knocks three times on the door of the Commons at the state opening of Parliament? Silver stick, white staff, golden mace, black rod. You can talk out loud. It's a toastmaster <laughs> whispering. Uh, we think the answer is black, black rod. Final answer. Happy, Dorian? Yep. Yep? Yep. Getting very confident, aren't you? <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you. I tell you what, I bet those who know you and see you working as a Toastmaster will never have seen you whisper out loud in your life. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you've got £4,000. Have a look at this, it's worth £8,000. As what is Donna Karen famous? Model, tennis player, photographer, fashion designer. Donna Karen. Fashion designer, isn't she? Doreen? Donna Karen. I Carroll. don't think she's a tennis player. No, no, she's not. I don't think she's a model. She's either a model or a fashion designer. And I think she's a fashion designer. But I think uh, I'm a little bit hesitant about this. I don't know for sure. I would like to ask the audience if I may, please, Chris. OK, let's see. Audience, this is worth £8,000. Let's see if we can get John Dorian up to at least 8000 This is the question. As what is Donna Karen famous? A, B, C or D? It's worth £8,000. All vote now. Um, 3% think model. 5% uh, think Donna Karen's a tennis player. 7% um, photographer, 85%, it's quite high, it's fashion designers. It's up to you, it's very high. Yes, it sort of goes along with what I was thinking myself, Chris. Because so you know about fashion design, don't you? Oh, no, I'm not a fashion icon, Chris. <laughs> not really. Uh, but I have heard the name and I, th I, always, I thought that's what it was associated with. And uh, the audience have just reinforced that, that belief. So we're happy to go with that? Go with the, yeah. We'll go with the audience. Uh, fashion designer, final answer. Absolutely right, you've got £8,000. <laughs> OK, you've got £8,000. Now, you're two away from £32,000. You've got two lifelines left. You've got a 50-50 and you've got phone a friend. Have you got some um, very specific phone of friends on standby? Yes, we have. Uh, a good bunch? Yes, I think so. Fairly wide spectrum of knowledge between not, them. We may not need to. We may not need to use them. Let's see what happens. This is for sixteen thousand pounds. Have a look at it. Tell me what you want to do. If George W. Bush is the forty-third president of the United States of America, who was the fortieth? Richard Nixon, 
George Bush, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan. Take as long as you need. It's worth sixteen thousand pounds. I think it was forty seconds. Clinton was the forty second. So you want to go two back before that? Who was the fortieth? Shall we go fifty fifty? Yeah. Can we go 50 50? Can. Chris? Okay. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave John and Dora in the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. 43rd President of the USA is George W. Bush. Who was the 40th? 43rd. Mm -hmm. Was Bush 42nd or Clinton? Mm -hmm. I think it was Reagan then. I, th I think the answer is Jimmy Carter. Reagan was a president during the Falklands War. That was 1982. Carter was a president before him. Who took over from Reagan? Was that not Lifkin. Bush's father? Bush was a president. John, but he's not on there. So that was... If this, Bush now, if this Bush Clinton... Was... Yeah, so Bush is the 43rd, Clinton's the 42nd. Was it Bush Senior? 41st, so who's before him? Ronald Reagan. Shall we go for Reagan? Yeah, I think it is Reagan. Chuck Carter was earlier than that. Carter was much earlier. Yeah. Right, after much deliberation, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go for Ronald Reagan. Doreen, are you happy with this? Yep. It's up to you. Final answer. Ronald Reagan, final answer. Yep. It's the right answer. You just won £16,000. You've got £16,000. Serious milestone. Have a look at question number 10. Uh, it's 10 of a possible 15. It's worth £32,000. Here it is. In which country did the first FIFA Club World Championship take place? Italy, Brazil, France, Germany. The first FIFA Club World Championship. Which country did it take place? Italy, Brazil, France, or Germany? It's worth thirty-two thousand pounds. You've got sixteen thousand of this money. What are you thinking, John? I'm thinking Brazil or Italy, but I'm by no means sure. I think we're going to have to phone somebody that knows a wee bit about football. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm? Not your strength then, Dory, in your football? Definitely not. No, no I'm afraid not. Of course, in rugby, I'd have been uh, <laughs> football. So I will phone a friend if I can. Okay, you obviously don't have to take their answer because you could lose 15,000. You've got 16, you can find a friend and still walk away with 16 yeah. grand. Who are you going to call? I'm going to call my son Malcolm. Malcolm, okay. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to tell him how much money's involved? Yes. It might. Joggy's memory. <laughs> <laughs> Might frighten him to death. <laughs> Hello? Malcolm? Yes? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hello, Chris. Hiya, guess who's here? Would it be Mummy and Daddy? It's <laughs> Mummy and Daddy. Now, Malcolm, this is serious business. John and Doreen, your mum and dad, are on £16,000 at this moment. They're playing for £32,000. Right. Serious business, OK? If you get a wrong answer, they don't have to obviously take your answer. If you give them a wrong answer and they do go with it, you've just cost your parents £15,000. OK? I've, I've cost them more than that over the year. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next voice you hear, surprise, surprise, will be the very loud voice of your dad. He's telling the question. There are four possible answers. One of these is the right answer, Malcolm. It's worth £32,000 to them. OK. OK. John, good luck. Your time starts now. Malcolm, in yep. which country did the first FIFA club World Championship take place? Was it Italy, Brazil, France, or Germany? Club World Championship. I think it was Brazil. 
How sure are you, son? Uh, Quick. About 50-50, but I think it was Brazil. I'm, uh, I'd go for Brazil. Thanks. OK, Paul. All right, good luck. <laughs> oh, what a test. Has he been over the years? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's awful. Isn't it? I think Brazil myself, but I don't know that I'm prepared to gamble fifteen thousand pound on it. What do you think? Well, if you want to go for it, go for it. You sure. Give it a whirl. What's fifteen thousand? <laughs> It'll be about that. <laughs> well, it's up, I mean, it's up to you. I had a notion it was Brazil myself, and I think Malcolm's got that notion. We came with nothing, Chris. Whatever happens, we leave with a thousand pounds. I'm going to play, and I'm going to play Brazil. Yeah? <laughs> Final. Final answer. Final answer, Brazil. <laughs> John and Doreen have got £16,000 at this moment. You just won 32,000. <laughs> Good night. Bless you, Alex. Thank you. You were braver than him, actually. <laughs> there you are. You're the one. <laughs> he was definitely going to bottle then. I don't know how to break this to you, though, Dorian, because John was the one who made the call. I'm afraid it's in John's name, Miss Jacobs. <laughs> okay, so whatever happens tonight, you two, go home with that check. Have a look at it. We'll take it, put it in your pocket. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Whatever happens tonight, you go home with at least that amount of money. How do you feel? Better. Better. <laughs> a lot better. Much better. Elated. <laughs> what will you do? I mean, I know it's, it's early days, you've only had this shit for about ten seconds, but um, first thoughts, what will you do? Well, I'm going to retire. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be so quiet in Staines without you booming around the place. <laughs> Oh, no, maybe do a wee bit of Toastmaster and still, but I'm not going to do anything else <laughs> other than loaf about the house. And... Well, I get the impression that Dory... He's, he's, he's been doing it for 36 years. <laughs> <laughs> I get the impression Dory might not particularly want you at home on a regular full-time basis. Oh, yes, I wouldn't. Anything for Malcolm in this, by the way? <laughs> Malcolm, your son? Well, yes, I Who? remember him. <laughs> oh, we'll probably... send him a thank-you card. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> OK. Um, you got £32,000. Great news. Whatever happens, you go home with at least that. You two have been such uh, great contestants. Now, you can't lose it. Have a look at it. It's question number 11. If you give me the right answer, you might as well play it. If you give me the right answer, it's for 64000 Here it is. Which of these works of art was painted by Thomas Gainsborough? The Skaters, The Night Watch, The Blue Boy, The Card Players. You're nodding, John. Yes, I think of a notion of what the, the answer might be. Dorian? I think it's the blue boy. Yes, I agree. Yes. We think it's uh, the blue boy. Not the skaters? No. no, not the skaters. Certainly not the night watch. And not the car. The blue boy. Final answer. You can't lose on it. You might as well play it. Go on, play it. <laughs> <laughs> We're still going for the blue boy. Final answer. He just won £64,000. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> thank you, we'll have that back, thank you. Obviously, I'll keep that uh, to one side, John. Guaranteed that you will go home with at least that amount, the £32,000 cheque, but at this moment, um, you can take this. Have a look. Question number 11, that's the right answer. It's for £64,000. But we don't want to give you that. You've got 64,000 at this moment. You've got no lifelines. You're starting to enjoy this, aren't you? Have a look at question number 12. Obviously, here you could lose 32,000 pounds of the 64,000 you've got at this moment. But then again, a few minutes ago, you weren't fussed about losing 15,000. So take your time. Question number 12. You see, you're getting the taste of this money now, Dora. You don't lose it, do you? <laughs> question number 12 is for 125,000 pounds. Serious money. Take your time. This is question number 12. You're four away from a million. Here it is. In which stretch of water is Dogger Bank? Irish Sea, Bay of Biscay, English Channel, North Sea. Try 
remember the old weather forecasts. It's not the Irish Sea. It's not the Bay of Biscay. It's either the Channel or the North Sea, and I think it's North Sea, but I'm by no means sure. I'm certainly not positive. I think it's the North Sea. You think it's the North Sea? I've got a feeling it is, but I don't know if I want to gamble. Well, it's 30, I mean, it's whatever money. happens, we, we, we get £32,000. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I mean, £32,000 is a lot of money to lose. We can walk out here with £64,000. I think it's the North Sea, you think it's the North Sea. Are you prepared to gamble £32,000? Personally, I don't think I am. <laughs> <laughs> You've got £64,000 at this moment, but it is worth £125,000. £64,000 is a lot of money in our situation. But, I mean, if you say you... Well, I, I mean, I'm, you, I'm totally useless at geography, but I've just got the North Sea in my... The Do you want to gamble it? 32 grand. You've got 32,000 guarantee. Whatever happens, you've got that. We've got, we came here not expecting to get more than 1,000. We've got 32 grand guaranteed. Do you want to play? We lose 32 grand. <laughs> Is it too it. much to lose? Didn't have it when we came, did we? No, we didn't have it when we came, but we got it now. <laughs> <laughs> you are the voice of reason, John. John <laughs> slowly getting the taste for this. When you think you've got to work, um, what have you got to work to earn that sort of door? But I'll gamble if you want to gamble. Well, we're never going to be here again, are we? Never going we're to? We're never going to be here again. No, it's... we never will. So it's worth 125,000. You've got 32 guaranteed. It's your call. Yes? Go for it. Sure. <laughs> if you're happy, I will. Yeah. Do. Right. <laughs> That's up to you. What do you think? We think it's the North Sea. I gathered that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel brave enough to tell me? <laughs> oh, I've got to be honest and say well, I'm not by any means positive. Well, hold on. But you, it's up to you. If you want to, if you want to go for the North Sea, we'll go. Okay, right. We're going to go for the North Sea. Final answer. Just won 125,000 pounds. Oh, fantastic! Absolutely fantastic! That is just what makes this show still so much fun to do. Oh, bless you! It's you! He's the sensible. It's you! It's you. He's the sensible car, but he was home. He was home about 4,000. It's you, Doreen. Now, at this moment, John and Doreen, they're in John's name, but at this moment, you two have got up to... Have a look at that. John, you're losing it, aren't you? It. No, no. I... Mr Khan, you are losing it, John. No, no. You want to hold this cheque? No, thank you. No. <laughs> well, I don't want to give you that anyway. You've got 32,000 guaranteed at this moment. You've got that huge check for £125,000. Have a good look at this. It's worth £250,000. It's question number 13 of a possible 15. Here it is. Harp and harbour are types of which mammal? Walrus, beaver, otter, seal. John, why are you grinning at me? Because I think, I hope, that I might know the answer. <laughs> I think I do too. Yes, we think it's a seal. How, how certain are you? I'm, I'm pretty, pretty certain, certain it's a seal. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a seal. 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 Final, Final answer. answer.
He just won a quarter of a million. Buy your suit. <laughs> we don't want for 125,000 pounds. We don't want that. We laugh in the face of 125,000 pounds. Right. <sighs> what are you two like? <laughs> At this moment, thanks to your vast knowledge of the harp and harbour seal, you have 250,000 pounds. You've been amazing, the pair of you. How'd you feel? You're almost subdued, John, aren't you? Well, uh, yes, I do feel a wee bit subdued, actually. Yes. <laughs> it, it won't last. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the elation will set in very shortly. Yeah. <laughs> well. I think I know where it'll set in as well. Yeah, yeah, right. so right. <laughs> Question number 14. You've got a quarter of a million at this moment. Question number 14 is for £500,000. If you play it and give me a right answer, I'll be delighted to write you a cheque on the spot for half a million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer at this point, you lose two hundred and eighteen thousand pounds. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's quite yes. a lot to lose. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a look at question number fourteen of a possible fifteen. This is a half million question. Here it is. What was the name of the inn where Chaucer's pilgrims assembled before their trip to Canterbury? The Admiral Benbow. The Tabard Inn, the Crown, the Georgian Dragon. It's worth five hundred thousand pounds. Right. It definitely wasn't the Admiral Benbow. That's in Treasure Island. I think it was probably the Tabard Inn, but... Uh, well, I think it was the Tabard, but I don't think... I don't think no. I want to gamble that. It, I think it probably was the Tabard Inn, but my memory of the Canterbury Tales isn't... Uh, isn't really exhaustive enough to, to warrant betting that sort of money on it. Chris, we've come here. We would have been happy if we'd won a thousand pounds. We've had a great evening. We're going to take the money now, I think. Are you happy with that? Take, oh, look, take, take the money, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Are we going to take the money, Dorian? Because it has to be both your final answer, John. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. That's, is that our final answer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think so. Final answer. final answer. We'll take the money. Give them a huge hand. <laughs> you have been absolutely fabulous to show you. I tell you what, it's such a pleasure to give you that. A cheque for... You can touch it now. You can touch it now. You can take it now. £250,000. Well done. <laughs> now, just before you go, because it'll annoy you the rest of your life. When you're sitting there at home getting under her feet, you'll think, I wonder what the answer was. Uh, it wasn't Admiral Bembo. It wasn't George and Dragon. And it wasn't the Crown. <laughs> The right answer was the Tabard Inn. It would have brought you half a million. But I think by then, <laughs> I think you'd have collapsed, John. <laughs> it's been fantastic. They've been brilliant. John and Dorian Lawrence leave us with £250,000. Bless you, guys. Fantastic. Thank you, Andrew. Enjoy it. Well done. Enjoy it. I know you're...